Oh, hello, everybody. There's no business like show business like no business I know. Everything about it is appealing. Everything that traffic will allow. Nowhere could you get that happy feeling when you are stealing that extra bow. There's no people like show people. They smile when they are low Even with a turkey that you know will fold you Maybe stranded out in the cold Still you wouldn't change it for a sack of gold Let's go on with the show Let's go on with the show What's up, everybody? Um, Darren Chris here. I spontaneously decided to um, do this. Um, thank you so much for everybody for watching Hollywood. I'm going to bring in a buddy of mine in just a few minutes, but I just wanted to have some time with you out there um, to say thank you for watching the show. Uh, I also wanted to say just on a personal thank you to anybody out there who follows me that has been very kind with your uh, words of support and sentiment, uh, even if you knew my dad or did not know my dad. Just uh, saying uh, and sharing stories with me has been a very nice, uh, wonderful uh, source of support. So thank you so much. It's a very sweet thing for all of you to do around the world. Um, but enough about me. Let's talk about Hollywood. Um, again, thank you for watching the show, for taking the time. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's 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 not it's only uh, seven eight episodes. So you know, you can people have been binging it, have been talking about it. Thank you for sharing with your friends and for for sharing your thoughts with us. It's been really exciting, and uh, we've been really happy that. Uh, you guys have been as excited about watching it as, as we were making it. So speaking of making it, I just wanted to share some words, uh, some stories that I wanted to clear, clear the air about. Um, whether you are an intense fan of the show or me or any of the other people uh, in, in the show or not, there has been pictures floating around uh, of me with a little mustache. Which I know what you're thinking. I must ask you what the deal with that is, Darren. So... Uh, for my screen test, yes, we did a little thing called a screen test, which you might be familiar with because in the show there are screen tests um, where we wanted to see what the look and feel of the show was. And at the very beginning, I was talking about Ryan having this sort of Errol Flynn mustache, this little thin pencil mustache, uh, which when you have all the getup on looks awesome. It looks fucking amazing. Um, however, this was summer, and uh, when you're in the 1940s outfit, you're like, God, this is great. This is a great look. we got to have this for the show. It's so great for the character and the time period. But as soon as you get out of those clothes and you put yourself into regular clothes, you just look like a weirdo. Uh, do not think I was unaware of this. Uh, I couldn't broadcast this. I had to go to an event later that night, and they took a picture of it, and I was like, oh, shit. I'm going to have to rock this in regular clothes, and people are just going to make fun of me. Um, but ultimately, uh, they decided that they didn't want the mustache. Uh, Here's a quick story about that before I bring my friend on. Uh, <laughs> so I thought, it, again, it looked great. If you're doing a period piece, little things like that really help you get into character. And <laughs> I uh, was waiting to hear what was going on because I wanted to know whether or not I was going to have this mustache. I had to do a show in Vegas uh, for, with Steve Aoki. And I was like, man, I'm going to look really ridiculous if I have this pencil mustache. And people who don't know that I'm part of the show... Are, there's going to be no context. So this was like a really big, you know, decision to be made whether or not I was going to have this thing. And I was told that the algorithm uh, decided against it, which made me go, wait a second. So is there just like this almighty Oz-like algorithm, like the holy algorithm of Netflix? There's like a bunch of monks, you know, worshiping it in the middle of the Netflix building, like a, a, a glowing giant N that just says yes or no to like things. Sh should we have, sh should it have sparkles in it? Yes, the algorithm is pleased with sparkles. Uh, Darren Chris has a little pencil mustache. We think it looks really great for the period. Oh, greaty, oh great mighty algorithm, shall we have it? No, the algorithm is displeased with his mustache. I, I don't know if that's what happened, but that's what I have to believe because um, a lot of data is collected and they have things where certain age gaps with certain age uh, uh, actors with certain mustaches, the watchability goes down. I don't know. That's a decision for you guys to make and feel free to, uh, to fight amongst yourselves. Uh, but that is the explanation. And ultimately, it did not show up in the show. All this to say, th saying that the algorithm said no to my mustache, they could have just said 
we don't like it. Maybe it was a really highfalutin way of just saying we, we don't like it. But I thought it looked really great. And for the people who are wondering what was going on with that, that's the deal. So I have some pictures and stuff of the day of me uh, with, with the mustache and stuff that I never got to share because I didn't want to confuse people with what the show looked like. I have no idea how those pictures went out because that was from a screen test, man. Those weren't supposed to be seen by people. But if you're wondering what the deal is, that's the deal. The algorithm said no. I said yes. But what do I know? I'm not Netflix. So thank you, almighty algorithm, uh, for making the decisions that would be to make our show a hit, which it has been. And that's thanks to you guys and the almighty algorithm. So I'm going to invite my buddy, um, uh, David Cornsweat. I'll just give it away. Um, he's going to join me at any second right now. But um, I just wanted to uh, look at some of these things. The stash was low-key iconic. Thank you, uh, Ayushi14. I, I thought it was too. When, when do you get a chance to rock, rock mustaches like that? Actors get to do that because they go, oh, it's for a part. And suddenly people go, oh, no, no, it's cool. Because people be like, look at this creepazoid. And I go, it's for a part in the 40s thing. And they go, oh, cool. Check that out. Um, so come on. Come on, David. Join me, buddy. Where are you? Here, I'm going to click on you, see if it works. If not, I'm just going to invite you. Tom Felton, holy. Does Tom, does Tom Felton have the mustache as well? I'm sure he looks dope with it because he's, he's a classy looking guy. I'm going to go live with Mr. All right, let's see if this works. Um, in the meantime, uh, let's see what you guys are saying. People, people are saying they're crying. I hope cry, tears of joy, you know. There he is. Hey, man. How are you, dude? I'm good. Do you remember how excited I was about that mustache? Oh, yeah. We were all excited, man. We were all very excited. I, what I'm confused about is how the algorithm said no to the mustache, but yes to more beige. Yeah, right? They it said, the beige. They said oh, oh, my, the algorithm, is there enough beige here? And it said, no, no more beige. More beige. The algorithm likes off yellow. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, I'm careful with how I say that because I think that's a compliment to the set designers who were actually fully aware of the abundance of beige in the 40s. I think they just really dug it then. It looks great. Well, and it's, it's, it's really important, you know, you, like the, the sets are so lavish, but then how do you not overshadow the actors? Because they could if they wanted to. They really could. Um, and they're like, let's more not. More beige. Yeah, more the, beige. The answer Put is beige. Put Patti Lapone in sparkly, like, uh, like crinoline, and then let's, <laughs> let's, let's just devalue everything behind her, as, as if it wasn't already, you know? Yeah. Like, let's make the background less. Um, David, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, your look for the show? Because, by the way, we, that was the day, we had met before, but that was the day that I got to kind of meet you on set, and I was very excited. It was a very exciting day for me because I got to watch you do your thing in the character, in the, in the, in the accent, and in the, in the outfit. Did yeah, you was... have any opinions of what your look should be for this show? Um, no, I have very few opinions most of the time. Um, I, I just like to roll with what's thrown at me. I mean, the easy thing was... Most of it was like I got to cut my hair finally the length that I normally would keep it. Um, it was like this long before and I had never had it that long before. So I was ready to cut it. I ran into Michelle, the, the, um, the key hair stylist uh, on the show and uh, uh, before we started the show. And she handed me a photo of Marlon Brando with very short hair. And I said, am I, I, I going to get to cut my hair short? And she said, yeah. And I was like, can we do it now? And so we literally walked over to the trailer and, and she cut it right then. Um, so you usually rock and, long hair because uh, I see you got a little bun. This is my normal hair. This is what I No, no, no. So, so, so I, I don't, I, all my life, I never had long hair until the politician and after the politician. Um, I just let it grow after the politician and then nobody told me to cut it. And then, so this is when I invented this contraption, which I'm calling a, a brow, a brow band. It's sort of a band that goes around your brow and then it holds your hair back. It I suits think it's, you. Gonna, it's, it's a real quarantine staple for those of us who, who can't make it to the, uh, to the barbershops um, and who don't trust our roommates or significant others to uh, shave our heads. <laughs> I know. I, I've been wondering if I should go down that, that road. I've watched a lot of like, how-to videos on haircuts. Would, um, you, do, would you do it yourself? I, I'm kind of, that's bold. If not for the challenge, yeah, I kind of want to say I did it, but uh, I also don't want to say how badly I fucked it up. Matt Bomer apparently has – I'm reading the comments. Uh, Matt Bomer was here a second ago. Matt, if you're still here, I love you, buddy. Hello. Um, Feel free to kick me out and bring him in, man. Matt Bomer. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. <laughs> Matt, you've, you're not in the show. Maybe they have a second season. You know, hey, you guys out there on the internet, kind of spread, spread the word around. We don't have control over that. Uh, there is no official second season for the show, but hey, I wouldn't mind. I think that'd be fun. Um, be great. I think the work. algorithm would be pleased if the internet <laughs> was contributing to its, uh, you know, uh, desire to make a second season. 
Um, Darren, what's what? Do you know what the plan is for three and a half minutes from now? Uh, the three and a half minutes mark is is an important thing to bring up because we are going to go on on uh, sorry Instagram uh, gods. Uh, we're migrating over to Twitterland uh, for some of you kids. That is that might sound like a an old fashioned uh, social media service, but we're going to be watching episodes three and four of of uh, of Hollywood, and we're going to be live tweeting that because we, as much as I'd love to live stream, we want to watch and engage and uh, and and like answer questions while people are watching those two episodes because we had fun doing it just a few days ago. Um, in the next four minutes, do you want to do dramatic mid-Atlantic readings of some of these comments? Because I, oh, I, read, yes. I, read, yes. I read one that someone said to you, David, I wish you would take me to dreamland. That's great. Do I just have to pick one or will you throw one up for me? Oh, I don't know. You just have to keep going. People are going to watch it. Are you going to be watching it for real this time? Was what someone Darren said. Darren will be ignoring me like last time. <laughs> Oh, David, Sorry. you know, I could never really ignore it. This isn't really mid-Atlantic. This is just more like well, melodrama 40s accent. You know, there's- a, Yeah, well, okay. So, I mean, if you're just, but that's more fun. Than, otherwise it would just be Ryan Murphy is the algorithm. That yes. would be mid-Atlantic. That would, that's that, kinda... exactly. It's not as fun. Uh, yeah. David, you, you are the most hilarious man on social media. I see. I don't know why I'm going for like, like yeah. frail damsel. <laughs> It's a trope. Thing? It's a trope. Yeah, it works. I know. I know. Bring in Miss Kincaid, says Hollywood Netflix. That's understandable. And I absolutely believe that. Yeah, Miss Kincaid. Oh God, God. People, people I know, my family's watching this. This is weird. Oh, God, you be careful. Well, hey, yeah. you get naked and have all kinds of sexy time <laughs> in the show. So, you know, what's... I was about to say, don't say anything dirty. <laughs> That's, I, I won't. I'm just letting them know what they're in for. If they haven't watched the show, this, this Instagram is just, uh, it's child's play compared to that. Um, oh, yeah. We got three minutes left. Um, what's... Um, David, uh, tell well, you what. Okay, let me you ask go. you this. Are you yes. queued up and ready to go? Are you ready to hit play? Because I'm, I'm starting I'm, at five. Because the other night you were behind. I was behind. I know. And I'm not okay, interested in this, in this delay thing anymore. I want you on top okay, of Okay, I will be on it. So I'll do my best. So I'm going to give everybody enough time to get out of here, get their Netflix started up. If you've already seen it, maybe you want to watch again. Or more importantly, if you haven't seen it uh, and, and know somebody that hasn't and you want to see their their reactions, uh, you know, maybe, maybe film their reactions to some of the things that you think are pretty racy. Um, share that with us and to share us, share, share your thoughts, but we're trying to get more, more people to watch the show. So yeah. um, help um, us out. The, the, the challenge for tonight, because the episode is particularly salacious, is uh, watch with a loved one, um, a mom, oh, yeah. dad, a roommate, uh, somebody who you're, you're quarantined with, uh, who hasn't watched the show yet, sit them down and- uh, If you and dare. Yeah, put put your friendship to the test. Put your, uh, you know, uh, and yeah. and it's confirmed. My my mom commented, uh, "Moms love Hollywood." So get your moms watching. Yeah, moms love Hollywood. I want to start. Is that a ha is that an official hashtag? I'm trying to make it a thing, but I don't know. It's all right. You might as well. I mean, dads love Hollywood. Brothers, sisters love. Everybody loves Hollywood. I that's I, I, any any version of people loving Hollywood is a good thing. All right, we're gonna leave you guys. All right, we're 20 seconds for away. Joining us. 20 seconds away. We'll see you guys see out you on there. On Twitter, Bye. hashtag Hollywood Netflix.